hello peoples so i'm um filming my second youtube video um i haven't filmed for ages because i don't really have any content and i just thought i'll just be a relaxed youtuber and just do it wherever so i thought um i'll take inspiration from kira and do a get to know me tag i put a poll up on twitter it's not even been up 24 hours but i was really impatient to do it so yeah i'm filming in my car because um <laughs> How embarrassing um because the background for my room is pretty bad at the moment i've got nowhere to stand my phone i thought i'd come in here and um find a stand in my car but that kind of failed as well but i just thought this is the hottest day of 2017 so far and it's only april so i thought good lighting it's gonna be a bit hot in here actually but okay so I, and i'm not in very good decor that's not even it is it that's disgusting. Why did I just say that? Crop that bit out. I'm in very bad outfit today because I actually am in a bikini right now because I was sunbathing. So this is how prepared Rachel is for YouTube. Right. Okay. So I found some questions. Um, I use quite a few sites online. I, they're not long, so don't worry. You're not gonna like fall asleep midway through this. Well, I hope not. I don't even know how many there are. I don't think there's 20, to be honest. And I just thought we'd give it a film. I look really bad. I've just noticed. We'll just go with this. So, I've got my trusty iPad. So, the first question is, are you named after anyone? My arm's really hurting. Um, yes, I am. I am named after the midwife that delivered me, which I take as a bit of an offence because that means that literally no one in my family thought of a name for me. And then, you know, the woman come in. Hi, I'm Rachel the midwife. Brilliant. There we go. Name sorted. Disgusting. Um, my middle name, my middle name is Mary, which is really embarrassing. But family tradition, you're even named Elizabeth or Mary if you're female. So that's that. When was the last time you cried? Probably like two nights ago, which is really embarrassing. But um, if, you've, if you've not seen the Facebook video, Blind Devotion watch it it's really sad it's about a woman who goes blind and it's about her relationship and how her partner looks after her and i was literally letting her cry my eyes out do you have any siblings i have two half brothers but i only see one of them long story jeremy carl we're not gonna go into that um what sports do you play or have you played i don't play any sports because i'm really lazy but i used to do football for a little bit at primary and then i did it at high school in year 11 um and then i did horse riding i've pretty much been horse riding most of my life they they were my main sports and in pe i used to love hockey but i never did that as an actual like official sport did you like school hmm. seven and eight loved it then it just went downhill to be honest and then got ruined towards the end so you know mi mixed feelings about that uh favorite tv shows i kind of like reality well they're not really reality things because most of them are staged but um, Towie, Geordie Shaw, Made in Chelsea, X on the Beach, stuff like that. I could watch that all day. Um, how tall are you? I'm midget. I'm five foot one. I hope that's not offended anyone, but that's what I've been called pretty much the whole of my life. I'm really, really tiny, um, which I don't even realise. People are like, oh, don't you realise you're small? Not really, no. I don't, until I look in the mirror with someone, like, at a party or something, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so small. My worst subject school was art and long story but pretty much if you're younger and you're thinking of taking your options don't choose art unless you're like really good because i was really bad hence why well, i got a d in it <clears throat> like really bad and i thought oh i'll just do it for you know for the fun but um i thought oh it might be a chilled subject i don't really know what else to take we'll take art worst decision of my life it was literally my artwork made me laugh my friends laughed at me when i showed them my sketchbook and um, yeah, not good. So, um, next question. Who was your first best friend? My first best friend is still my best friend and it's Danielle Bennett. If you're watching this, which I hope you are, yeah, she's my best friend. We became friends in like year two or three and she made a lie up. She was like, come and watch me horse ride. And I thought it was like a show. And then like we phoned her up and it turned out it was a riding lesson. And then ever since then for like, like five years every monday me and her would have riding lessons and honestly i have the best memories with her and we're still friends now we didn't even go to the same high school or college anymore but we're literally like best of friends we don't even have to talk every day we just catch up with each other every now and again have a ring have a rant it's brilliant they're the type of friends you want my biggest pet peeve it's either like punctuality i'm like proper on time like early on time sometimes 
and my friends aren't aren't on that wavelength. And that really annoys me when I'm like, are you coming, are you coming? I'm not updating them, like, on my way, two minutes away, one minute away, five seconds away. Yeah, they don't really tell me. And then two hours later, I'm like, are you here? Are you leaving? No, still in bed. Brilliant. Another pet peeve would have to be when people leave piss over the toilet seat. Can't be dealing with that. It's actually disgusting. Like, wipe that off, please. Um, My favourite perfume. I have two, and they are Mark Jacobs' Daisy Dream. I've had that for a few years now, and I love it. Um... And my one I got for Christmas is um, the Tommy Hilfiger, and it is Girl, I don't even know, I will try and find a photo of it and hopefully edit that in. Um, but yeah, I think it's Your Girl or something, and it's honestly, it's really lovely, it's a quite a warm scent, I quite like them, but it's really nice. Um, my favourite food, hmm, I have a lot of favourite foods, but I would say bacon roll, can't go wrong with a bacon roll, I had one earlier actually, yeah. That's what I live for. Are you stubborn? Yes. I'm like the most stubborn person ever. Like, I'd, I'd say I was pretty chilled. I'm a pretty chilled person. But if, you know, I will put my foot down with things. And I'm quite stubborn in that sense. Like, you're not changing my mind. Um, What would you name your children? I don't really ever really think about having children, which is really bad. Because all my friends are like, I can't wait to be a mum. I'm like, nah, I'd rather just party for the rest of my life. But um, that's really actually so unambitious. But yeah. Um, but I've always said, if I had a daughter, I'd name her Hetty or Hattie. Which one was it? I can't think if it was Hetty or Hattie now, which is really bad. It was. I always said like Hetty May or some something like that. But that's actually like, I can't be bothered with a double barrel. I think, I think, yeah, Hetty. I think it was Hetty because I just thought, imagine a little baby and you're like, oh, it's little Hetty. I just thought it was really cute. Um, but I don't think I'd ever find a partner in this day and age that'd actually want to call their daughter Hetty, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> and second from last question, how do you describe your fashion sense? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, well, I'm being serious because a lot of the time it's really bad. Um, mine's really random because... Um, I'll either think, oh, I'll dress really smart, sophisticated today, I'll have a shirt on, nice jeans, nice shoes, a um, bit of jewellery whacked on, hair nice, makeup nice, and we'll go out for a civilised lunch. Or I'll feel a bit, hmm, I'll feel a bit chill, I'm thinking an oversized hoodie, ripped jeans, some trainers, pretty fresh like that, yeah. Um, that's really cringe. Um, yeah, I'm a bit... Is it contemporary? No, that's modern, I think. No, I'm just a bit mixed. I just, I'm one of those people, I just wear anything and hope it suits me. So, you know, I'd just try anything, to be honest. I don't go indie, though. I'm not sure I'd rock the indie look. Because I think they're really lucky people. They can wear oversized stuff, vintage stuff, faded stuff. And they just rock that look. And I'm just like, no, because something somewhere would be wrong. Um, and my final question is, do you have any pets or have you had any? Um, I don't have any pets at the moment, actually. If you don't class the pony I have, which is on loan, has been for quite some years. Um, apart from that, no. Um, I've had quite a few. Um, I've had rabbits, ferrets, guinea... Oh, God, I'm shaking. Um, guinea pigs, um, dogs, cats, um, ponies. Um, have I had any other pets? Oh, my God, stop shaking. Um... I probably, if you class ladybirds, I've had quite a few of them in a pot before when I was little, so we can class them as pets as well. But yeah, I've had quite quite a mix. So yeah, so um, that's all of my get to know me tag. Um, <clears throat> sorry, it's getting a bit dry. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. If you were watching, which you must be, otherwise you wouldn't hear me saying it. Embarrassing. Um, thank you for watching. Um, yeah subscribe like the video watch my other one which is the first one and it features kira jackson i'll try and make a link to her channel because she's got quite a lot of content at the moment she's got about seven videos one of them is a new york vlog go check that out it's really cute um and yeah my last video which is with tom and kira i'll leave their social media as well because tom tom likes loads of views on snapchat um yeah, so I put that down below as well. Um, yeah, so thank you very much, guys. Um, if you like it, you know, let me know somewhere. I'll put my social media, bleh, social media down as well. Um, yeah, thank you for watching.